Hello everybody! Welcome back to Eileen's Craft Nook. So, happy Mother's Day out there and you dads. Um, today uh, is in a shout out to Mother's Day. Uh, I am going to do some pendants and I'm going to use UV resin. So I'm using the J Diction UV resin and I have a variety of things I want to try out. I have some stickers and some little metal pieces and some micas and I have some um, this liquid is made for UV resin so I'm going to try that out. I haven't tried it before and uh, I picked this up at Michael's. So we're going to try those see how they work out. I have some little flowers that we can we can try. You know what? It's just going to be a Mod Podge. I really haven't, um, I haven't decided. I have these that we could try out. Uh, I have all sorts of little bits and bobs that we could, um, we can try in our, our pendants here today. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to start with, I wanted to, to try a, um, a, a galaxy one in one of these little guys using the micas. So I'm going to put a little bit of this UV resin in to the pot. And to that, I'm going to add this black pigment for UV resin. I'm going to give it a shake. I hope these are still good. I've had them. Ooh, I just stuck my finger in there. Of course. <laughs> Let me just get my baby wipe. Oh. Okay. Whoops. And now I'm sticking to the tape. <laughs> I'm a hot mess here, guys. Hot mess. That's okay. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try that again. Okay, are these open? Oh, it is open. Okay. I'm going to put a few drops in there. Now, because this is made for UV resin, I fully expect it to be translucent because if it's not, then it won't cure as well. I'm just going to give that a stir. And let's pour that into, which one do we want to be our galaxy? I think this triangle one would be, be cute. So I have these pendants stuck to resin tape. I picked uh, this up uh, um, from Tamu. And uh, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was under two dollars. You can use, you don't have to use this. You can use regular shipping tape. Would work just fine. Um, but I, ha I when I saw this at Tamu, I decided to pick it up. There we go. Now I'm probably going to top, I'm going to probably top coat all these as well. So I'm not filling these right up at this point. And I also want to, putting these flowers in one, and I think they would actually look better on a black background as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually mix up a bit more black. Boy, these clips stick to that tape. So I'm going to stick this under the light to get start curing. I need to plug my light in. There we go. Okay. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to pour a little bit more in here to do, to put in that, the heart mold the heart pendant. 
So add a bit more black. Two, three, four. Okay, put four drops in there. Let's see what that gives us. Mix that up. Okay, All right, we're just going to remove our light. Gave that one a start. I should have took the bubbles out of it. Okay, you guys see? Let me just get you up here. Here we go. So we're going to pour this one into the heart. We're just going to spread that around. There we go. Just going to get the rest out of the. Oh my goodness! Seriously. <laughs> Usually I'm a bit more. Uh, what would you call it? Finesse than this. Today is not my day. All right. Okay, I knocked you out of the camera. Let's put you back. Keep touching these. These type of gloves really stick to tape. Okay, so we're just going to scrape that out. This time I am going to remember to use my lighter for any bubbles. Okay. Get any bubbles out of there? I don't think, I think it's too late for this guy. It is. That's okay. We're going to be using some micas in that. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the rest of these and get it cured up, and then we'll be back to decorate. All right. I'm not sure how much of the video I thought I was videoing. I think I took a photograph. So um, I'm hoping that you, I'm not sure what you guys missed while well, that wasn't a taping. So what I've done is on this one, I put these type of flowers, I cut it out and I stuck it on. Of course, uh, you saw me do the pet one. I'm sure that you saw me do the leaf one. And then on this one, I use a these rub on from... I got picked these up at Dollar Tree, so I put that down. Now, I could just leave it like that. That's actually pretty nice. So should I leave it like that? I was going to put some flowers in here with it. Let's just take a look. That's the nice thing about UV resin. You can play with it before you have to commit. Mm, no, I don't like to. No, nope, I don't like one. I kind of like it just with the gold. I think I'm going to leave it that way. All right. All right, we have one left. Now, I'm going to actually cure these up because this one I want to put micas in. And I, I'm worried it's going to get into all the rest. The micas, when I start using them, are going to get into all the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my UV resin. And I'm going to fill these up. I'm going to cure it. And then we'll do this last one. So I'm not going to do all of these with you on camera. I'm going to do one of them. And then I will come back. So I want to make sure you can see me. Okay. I'm going to do this leaf one. I'm just going to fill this up. Try to dome it a little bit while I'm doing it.
not even squeezing this. I This bottle, if you just tip it, it comes out slowly and that's exactly what you want to work with. You squeeze it and too much comes out, you run a great chance of it just coming over the edges. So you want to do drop by drop just until you're at the threshold where it's going to spill over. Okay, just going to give that a little bit of a Get this lighter to work. There we go. Get the bubbles out. If there are any. And I don't know where my little fla UV flashlight went to. My desk, guys. If you could see my desk, it's such a mess. Tomorrow I need to clean up. All right, I don't see my torch. So I don't want this to, well, you know what? Let's do the one beside it. We should be okay. okay let's go ahead and fill this one up. The red and gold, which is so pretty together. Again, once you get to this point, let's just drop until you're on the threshold of overflowing. And then get bubbles out. All right. Can you see? Uh, yeah, you guys can see it. Okay. Let's move over to this one. Okay. All right. Get the the bubbles out. I need a new lighter. I'm off to Costco tomorrow and I think they're on sale. So I'll probably pick what package up while I'm there. Okay. I'll be right back guys. I'm going to cure these up and I'll be right back and we'll do our last one, which is the galaxy. Okay. So now for our final one see how this turns out. I've not done this before with the UV resin. So we're going to put a coat of the clear on here. And what I want to do is just take a little bit of each of these colors and kind of sprinkle them on. And that's why I wanted to be sure to cure the rest before I started this because you know mica powders, they don't stay where you want them to, the tendency to travel. So I'm just going to take my little micro brush and I'm going to dip it in. I'm going to kind of tap it off in there and I'm just going to tap it into this UV resin. You want to have a light hand with this. You don't want to overload it. Okay. And then put a little bit of green mica in. Just using the same brush, I'm going to dip it in. I'm going to tap some off. I'm going to come back over here and tap, tap it in here. Just a little bit. And, okay, and then we're going to go in with the pink, do the same, a 
that one's coming out a little bit stronger. This one a little bit. Okay. And I don't have white mica. I have a silver white. I don't have white white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gold. Gold. I'm going to put some of that in. Okay, using the same method, gonna sprinkle that in. Okay, and I'm going to see if I can got some on my little I got some on my little paws okay so I want to actually want to give that a little bit of a spray with alcohol ink to move those micas around a bit we're going to let them do their thing and then I'm going to now do I want to stir these to make it a galaxy hmm I don't it's not a galaxy galaxies are pink and blue and but it's very galaxy Healing, I guess you would call it. So I think I'm going to just stir circles here just to uh, kind of. All right. Now I'm going to top that. I'm going to dome it up. Oh, oh, that resin. Oh, I should have dried it. Shoot. Okay, lesson learned. Should have dried it. All right, that's easy enough to fix. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm just gonna come back in. A little bit of micas. See, this is why you guys watch me. Okay, let's. Take a look at what we have. Okay. We have our leaves, our wispy gold plant, our paw prints, our golden galaxy, and our butterfly and flowers. So let's see if we can get these off of here. Remember, I did turn this over and um, cure it from the back as well, because even though these are these blacks are made for UV, it's still not the ideal. Now, I could put a if I wanted to. I don't know if I do. I could dome up the back as well with some clear UV. So, what do you think? There's my leaves. And these are so fun to make and very economical. I picked up a bag of, I think it was 40 of these bezels. It was $9 and something. I picked up these little leaves from Tamu and it was under a couple bucks. And then the cost of your UV resin. So, you know, it's, um, you can make a lot of these. And these would probably sell because this is something you could sell if it's under 10 bucks people are more likely to buy it you can get the the cords in that um from i, I see them at uh, one of our local dollar stores um but you can also get those off of amazon or tamu and they're not they're not horribly expensive now if i was giving this a gift to my mom i'd probably put a nice chain on it but so here's our 
their leaf. And again, this, this is a rub-on sticker that I picked up at Dollar Tree, a whole sheet of them. Isn't that beautiful? And I love that red. The red is um, kind of see-through. There. And then we have our paw prints for all our pet mama and mamas out there. So here we go. There's our paw prints. Aren't those cute? Yeah. And the hardware for this, I got a whole bag of them from Tamu for a couple bucks. And then we have our Galaxy. This tape is very sticky. I mean, it needs to be in order to prevent oh, it running, but man, it sticks. Okay, here's our Galaxy. So you know what? I put a little bit too much in there. Um, I muddled it a bit, but it's still... I mean, I, I like it. It's shiny, and that's just using the, the regular micas. I like that one. And finally, this is our butterfly and flower, and this is used just making, or made using stickers. And there's that one. We put the stickers in. We did the base coat black, put the stickers in topped it up with the UV and that uh, the stickers have that um, bit of metallic in there that the light picks up. All right. So thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate spending this time with you the day before Mother's Day. It's Saturday here. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there, whether you're Mothers of kids, mothers of pets, whether you're single moms, single dads, married, whatever. Um, I think this is a day to celebrate everybody who loves and takes care of somebody dear in our life. So thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys joining me today. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I uh, I went ahead and started a little more glitch of that and cured it. So we're just going to put the last layer on here and dome this one up. So I kind of, you know, muddied it up having to do it twice, but lesson learned. Cure.